This video is brought to you by Alienware, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Start gaming. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Noshar Canals. Except it's not really Noshar Canals, it's Dragon Valley. The Battlefield 2 map being made in Battlefield 4 with a dock that's made to look like the Team Deathmatch layout of Noshar Canals. This has been hinted at for a while by the DICE LA team now, along with community members exploring the dockyard area when the full Dragon Valley map was tested back in June and July. The map looks very similar, and on face value you might expect it to be a carbon copy of the Battlefield 3 variant, but there are a few differences, and not all of them are good ones. Just before I go on, all of the footage in this video today was recorded on my Alienware 15 laptop running on medium to high settings at 1080p and as you can see we are hitting a solid 60fps. I'm working on a review for this bad boy and that will come soon but if you want to check out the laptop there's a link in the description. But back to Noshar Canals though, and let's start with the good points because we always want to start on the front foot. I'm kind of a glass half full kind of guy, I am very cynical, but I always try and see the positives in things. The map looks great and it really does state that this is a genuine remake here. The corridors of crates are still with us, they're almost identical in layout to those in the original, which will likely still offer that purely chaotic combat that people are looking for. We're missing the orange and yellow colour of some of the crates right now, but this is only the first pass of testing, and I'm pretty sure that the colour of the crates is not something that Dice LA are massively concerned about. I'm pretty sure they will come soon though. The map feels very washed out and bare right now, and it's almost like it's lost its visual identity, but what we're really looking for is the gameplay aspect. The crane is still here too, and I've witnessed some people up there already. You can never stop people camping up there. It is such a good vantage point for snipers. And along with that, the top train yard area is no longer a train yard, and it resembles more of like a, a bear lorry park right now. Again, this is likely to be filled out as more changes are made. There's not a lot of cover up there at the moment. So the map is looking good, it runs smoothly in my testing, and people really seem to be responding positively to the idea of Noshar returning. But I do have a few gripes to share, and I'm not sure people are going to agree or disagree, whether I'm just being really picky, I'm not too sure, but I'm here to give my opinion, that's part of the testing phase, so here goes. I didn't really like the map all that much. <laughs> it feels really static. There were only 10 players a team, so that's 20 people in the server at the time, and maybe with the dock not being full of the sound of 32 soldiers firing guns and exploding grenades everywhere had something to do with it, but it seemed to go even further than that. Battlefield 3 Noshar Canal's Team Deathmatch was one of the fastest paced maps in the game, with players weaving in and out of crates, ducking and diving out of the way of stray RPGs and grenades as somebody parachutes in, dropping C4. It was mayhem, and it was absolutely amazing if you like that kind of thing. Not so much here. No one was firing RPGs, everyone was being sensible and running around with weapons like they would normally do in a TDM environment within Battlefield 4. No one was dropping C4 on corners and waiting for an innocent enemy to pass by. It almost felt like the map was lifeless. And on top of that, the crazy lap running that you could do through the crates isn't really amazing as it used to be. You could go on some massive kill streaks just running laps through the crates, the enemies not really knowing where you were, but because you were constantly moving and hit firing all the time, you always had the advantage. You can't really do that here. I'm not really sure why I'm saying you can't do it, because I'm pretty sure somebody out there will be able to do it, and I did it in this gameplay here a little bit. I managed to get a couple of kill streaks going, but I didn't really feel like I could run round all the time and be as effective as I could be in Battlefield 3. I mean, I know the infantry combat in Battlefield 4 now is very similar to what it is in Battlefield 3. I mean, the running style and the animations and all the movement is supposed to be exactly the same. It got switched a while back from the old rubbish Battlefield 4 values that we had before, but it still doesn't feel like that I could do what I did in Battlefield 3 here in Battlefield 4. There's just something about the soldier movement and the way that the game flows that 
feels like it's restricting me from doing that here right now. The way you played Noshar in Battlefield 3 was run around like crazy and try and find groups of enemies, kill them, and then the spawns would flip. If you were a skilled player, you could do really well lapping these crates, reloading between kills, dropping med bags, picking up fallen players, and you could rack up the points. Like, you could get a massive amount of points. It was almost like a circle jerk, because you could just keep going around and do it all the time. And it worked really well. But here, it doesn't feel like that. It felt like I was running into the crates and I then hit a wall, like a front line. I then had to fight it out there, rather than my whole team being with me and pushing forwards, lapping round and, and overpowering the enemy team. It kind of felt like I hit a front line and then I couldn't get past it and I got killed. And then I would have to spawn back in and I would come to the same front line and I'd get killed again. It's almost like this map now feels like every other TDM map in Battlefield 4. There aren't many that stick in my memory for really being that great. And if Noshar Canals, which is arguably the best infantry map in the history of the Battlefield franchise, became an ordinary TDM map, I don't really think I'd be playing it that much. A couple of other points that I want to make. First of all, the map feels a little bit too big at the moment, or there's too much open space and not enough cover around the edges. You might not be able to see it very much in the gameplay, but if you remember back in Battlefield 3, you had like the barge corridor down the left-hand side of the map, and you had the slope corridor down the right-hand side of the map. Both of those didn't have a lot of cover, but here in Battlefield 4, they feel even bigger. And it's like you couldn't even walk down that corridor without somebody shooting at you. I mean, I know that happened in Battlefield 3, but you could still combat it if you really tried. I couldn't do that here. A couple of other points that I'd like to make. The map feels too big. Maybe this contributes to some of the gameplay aspects, where if you make the map a little bit smaller, everybody feels it's a little bit more claustrophobic. They aren't standing in the same place all the time, and they'd be more encouraged to move around the map. Maybe that's what we need to get people moving by making the map a little bit smaller. And there's not a huge amount of cover around the edges either. And I know that's kind of what North Shark Canals is meant to be. But because it's that bit bigger, the space is bigger. So it's harder for you to stay in cover all the time. And secondly, could it be known to the DICE developers that in a fast-paced, infantry-centric game mode like Team Deathmatch, it's really, really frustrating when the kill cam is so damn long. Like, when I have to sit there and look at that orange silhouette of somebody running away after they've killed me, I don't really enjoy that. The kill cam in Battlefield 4 is one of my gripes. I absolutely hate it. I think it looks horrible. And it's just an absolute crutch for people to know exactly where you are. It's so casual, it's beyond belief. And then the fact that I have to sit there during a fast-paced game mode, I have to sit still and look at somebody and wait for like 7 or 10 seconds before I can get back into the action. Why is that? Why can't it be that the kill cam is about 2 or 3 seconds long, you put me back in the spawn screen, I wait another second, I can click the button and go back into the game? That's the point of Team Deathmatch, you have to go out there to kill people. And by leaving me in the kill cam for 10 seconds, I'm not able to kill people. So if you could speed up that kill cam, that would be fantastic. One thing to remember though, viewers, is that this is only the first pass of development. And the reason I'm being critical is because Dice LA are asking for the feedback. They've mimicked the design and the environment of Noshar Canals very, very well. But it kind of feels like a jam sandwich. It's the best sandwich in the world, but if there's no jam in it, then it's not a jam sandwich. And right now, Noshar Canals in Battlefield 4 is a jam sandwich without the jam. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much to Alienware as well for sponsoring today's video. There are links in the description to the laptop that I'm using here, the Alienware 15, and their other range of laptops too, so I highly recommend that you go and check them out. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Noshar Canals in Battlefield 4. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.